Good afternoon. Allegations of a sex abuse at a Lavernia daycare, and it remains open. Good afternoon. I'm Deborah Knapp. The owners were arrested on Monday, accused of failing to report sexual abuse. Eyewitness News reporter Vanessa Croy is live at Grandma's House Daycare in Lavernia with the latest details. Well, Jeff and Deb, despite those arrests yesterday, the daycare center remains open. And we talked to the Wilson County attorney today who told us the case involves a juvenile allegedly sexually assaulting another juvenile while under the care of Grandma's child care center. And according to police documents, the eight year old made a sexual or made an outcry of sexual abuse and the daycare director told her she was lying and she'd be in trouble for reporting it. Now, the first report came into Lavernia Police in January about a four year old who made an outcry about sexual abuse while she was under the care of Grandma's Child Care Center. After an investigation, police discovered a second female, eight years old, also reported being abused by the same juvenile at the facility in November. The eight year old told authorities she reported the alleged abuse to director Amanda Tatum and according to police text messages from the girl's mother to Tatum confirmed Tatum was asked by the parent to report the alleged abuse, but no report was ever made. The girl later told investigators that Tatum said she was lying, that she must have been dreaming and the sexual abuse never happened. According to the police statement, owners Stella and Douglas Coates both admitted to knowing about the outcry of sexual abuse and failed to report it. The owners and their daughter, Amanda Tatum, were all arrested on Monday and were released today on a $6,000 bond. Now, the police documents also say a male was arrested. We checked with the JP who said it was indeed the juvenile, but she couldn't discuss any other details about the case because it involves a minor. The daycare center told us they plan to stay open with and they do now have a new owner. Reporting in Lavernia, Vanessa Croy, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.